Hi children. Now we are going to discuss about types of vehicles. I think you all know different types of vehicles. Yes or no? Yes. So many vehicles we have. Air transport, mode of transport also we have learning before class. Air, air, water and land. Yes or no children? Yes. Now, how we can differentiate these vehicles? How we can sort out all the vehicles? What are the differences? And what are the similarities? Can we discuss today? Yes. Mainly children, we can different ways of sort out or sorting vehicles. We are differentiating the vehicles. We can differentiate them. First of all, see here number of vehicles. By seeing number of vehicles. Do you have cycle in your home? How many wheels do you have to your cycle? Two wheels. Do you have motorcycle? I mean bike. How many wheels? Two wheels. Car? Four wheels. Train? So many wheels. Boat and ship? Do they have wheels? No. So we can differentiate. First point is we can differentiate the vehicles by number of wheels. Okay? First one see. Boat ship? No. No wheels. Number of wheels. No wheels for boat and ship. Two wheels. Cycle? Motorcycle. Four wheels. Car, bus, all this have? Four wheels. Four wheels. Many wheels? Train. Train have? Many wheels. So, this one is first one. Number two. We have learned in before class mode of transport. Three types of mode of transport. Depending upon the mode of transport also, we can differentiate the vehicles. What is that? Air, water, land. Air, plane, helicopter, water, boat, ship, land, car, bus, bicycle. So, this is second one. Second one, different way of sort out in the vehicles. Third one, we can differentiate the vehicles by animals and without animals. If you see in olden days, the vehicles are with the help of animals. Okay. Bullock cart, horse. Did you see? Yes. Yeah, see here. Horse cart, buffalo cart. Okay. In olden days, they used to move on these carts only. Without animals, car, bus, train. That's it. With animals, without animals. With animals are horse, cart, buffalo. And without animals, car, bus, train, sheep. This is horse cart, buffalo cart. This is third point. So this is third point. Coming to the next one, fourth one, C. We can move from one place to another small distance and we can we can we will move for a long distance also. Yes? In first class we have learned. If it is a small distance, we go by cycle, bus or car. Okay? Cycle, bus, car or in water mean boat. If it is long distance, we go by ship, plane and trains. Yes or no? Yes. This is the fourth point. And coming to the fifth point, passengers and boats. Yes, passengers. So many members move from one place to another in villages or somewhere on bus. Yes or no? By bus they will go. If we have car, we will move from one place to another by car. But sometimes they also move the boats. In first class we have learned trucks takes the goods from one place to another, sheep, plane, everything will take the goods from one place to another. What are they? Train, planes, truck, sheep. Okay children, this is the topic today about types of vehicles. How we can differentiate different types of vehicles means by seeing number of wheels, by mode of transport, by animals, by seeing the short distance and long distance and also by passengers and goods. Okay, if you want take one screenshot and read it again, you will get one idea. Okay children, now open your test books. Yes children, open our test books page number 120. Different types of vehicles. Vehicles can be sorted into many categories. One way of sorting them is on the basis of the number of wheels. Boats and ships have no wheels. Bicycles and motorcycles have two wheels. See that picture you can observe different vehicles have different number of wheels. Okay.
yes look at the other picture 1421 another page auto rickshaws and cycle rickshaws have three wheels car and vans have four wheels trains and aeroplanes have many wheels we choose a vehicle based on our need we need to carry goods we can use a truck ship train or plane if we need to travel with lots of people we can use a bus train or planes thus we choose a vehicle depending on people are traveling or goods are being transported the number of people traveling the distance to be traveled the time in hand to travel okay see that yellow color box did you know submarines are used for traveling under water in seas and oceans see that one that picture we call it as a submarine it will travel under the water not on the water okay children yes now open our volume types of vehicles page number 17 look at that picture and name the mode of transport i think you all know now the mode of transports okay write the answers there see the second one write the name of vehicles that can be used in water write the name i think you know now write the names of vehicles that only have two wheels okay examples write there okay children 